Okay, then the next question is, you've had a couple drinks for happy hour. How do you refuse? What do you say? Do you just, I'm not saying anything. Do you not give your information? Obviously, always be respectful. You know, you're, you know, rude or, you know, um, anything to the, to the police. They're going to argue that, you know, that's, you know, some type of impairment. Just say, hey, I'm not refusing, but I would like to speak to, you know, a, a lawyer first before, you know, before we move any further. He's going to say no. And uh, so you're refusing? No, I'm not refusing. I just want to speak to a lawyer before I, b before we proceed. He's going to end up calling that a refusal, but the words I'm refusing never come out of your mouth. So we call, it, we, we call it a passive refusal. Like I, I don't know if everybody does, but you and I, when we have a conversation, describe cases, passive, meaning the officer called it a refusal, not you. Right. And then when you get that in front of a, you know, especially if it's on video in front of a jury, you know, the cop, well, he refused to do anything. Well, watch, watch the video. My client like simply was, you know, asking to, to have it, have advice. And I kind of tie that in, you know, if it goes to trial and the jury selection, who hires an account to do their taxes? If, you know, the government said, hey, you're not allowed to, you know, use an account, you have to file your own taxes. Do you think that would be fair? Or do you want some advice? And most people say, hey, I want to, you know, I want advice. Same thing with, you know, if you're not familiar with the situation, asking for advice is a normal faculty. That's someone that, you know, is thinking normally. And here, you know, my client's in a situation where he's being asked to do these things. It's the middle of the night. He doesn't know what's going on. And he's not saying that he will or will not do it. He just wants advice. If, if I get advice and the lawyer says, hey, you have to do it or, you know, I, I suggest you do it. And hey, I'll do it. But if he says no, then I'm gonna I'm gonna follow that advice. So you know, I, I think that goes a long way. That fact pattern it lends itself to the officer hanging themselves out there too, because you develop a line of questioning, and the officer can often remember that as like, yeah, he was adamant about refusal. Officer didn't watch the breath test video, and now you have an inconsistency between what the officer says the demeanor was at the time of the refusal, because how he articulated his police report was just he refused. Correct. And so the memory isn't there, and then you're able to contrast that against the breath test video. Hopefully, there is one. Um, I think that works out, and that tends to be a really good angle that shows up repeatedly in a DUI case and passive refusals. Yeah, 100%, because in the reports, for whatever reason, um, law enforcement tends to skew or exaggerate the report for the interest to, to validate the arrest. So, you know, the, they're, you know they don't want to say that, you know, the client was asking for an attorney. They'll just, like you said, they'll just say, oh, he, you know, he refused to cooperate. And that's, you know, that's not what happened. Um, you know, so like you said, that's what the cop's going to remember by, you know, looking in his report, but they, they hardly at all ever write the, the, the whole story in a police report. They just write, you know, what they believe is the best facts for them and leave out the rest. And like you said, that kind of leaves them, leaves them hanging, leaves them out to fly, um, for, you know, cross-examination. Back to the, the, the breath test refusal or not. For the scenario that you laid out where, you know, hey, you've had one or two drinks, you know, at happy hour and you're, you know, you're driving home. The, the traditional science says that, you know, the body metabolizes about, you know, three quarters of a drink to, you know, a, a drink an hour. So, you know.